Welcome, listeners, to the Evian Podcast. Okay, let's dive into something uh, pretty dramatic that happened just recently up in space. We're talking about the International Space Station, the ISS, and a really, really close call it had. That's right. It was uh, Tuesday, November 19th. Mm -hmm. The ISS basically had to dodge something, a significant maneuver, not just a tiny nudge. Dodge. Okay. How does something that huge, like the size of a football field, just move out of the way up there? Well, they use thrusters. In this yeah. case, they fired the engines on a docked spacecraft. The Progress 89, it's a Russian supply ship, so they used its engines. Ah, okay. So like a temporary booster. And how long did they have to fire them? Just over five minutes, actually. Five minutes. That doesn't sound like long, but I guess in orbit? Exactly. It makes a huge difference. Yeah. That burn gave the station enough of a boost, uh, enough distance, created a safety buffer from the object. Right. The object. What was it they were trying to avoid? Not another satellite, surely. No, no. This was space junk, orbital debris, specifically uh, a piece from an old defense meteorological satellite. It's defunct now. A weather satellite. A defense one, yeah. It actually broke up years ago, back in 2015. So this fragment's been zipping around since then. Wow, since 2015. And how close was this piece projected to get if they hadn't moved the station? Ballistics trackers, the people who watch this stuff, they estimated it could have come within about 2.5 miles. Two and a half miles. Okay. Again, on Earth, that sounds pretty far. But in space... It's terrifyingly close. You have to remember the speeds involved. We're talking, what... 17,000 miles per hour. At that speed, 2.5 miles is covered in like less than half a second, almost zero reaction time. So yeah, NASA confirmed the move was absolutely needed. Okay, that puts it in perspective, less than half a second. And this whole event, it's really just one example of a bigger issue, isn't it? The space jump problem. Absolutely. It's a growing concern. All this floating garbage from old satellites, used rocket parts, fragments. Experts have been warning about it for years. And the numbers are kind of scary. They really are. We're tracking almost 30,000 objects bigger than a softball. 30,000. And that's just what we can track. Think of all the smaller bits. So researchers are calling it, what was it, a ticking time bomb. Yeah. Yeah. That phrase comes up a lot. The feeling is that major collisions, the kind that create even more debris, they're sort of inevitable. Not if, but when. Which means the ISS, orbiting about 250 miles up, is constantly, like, navigating this minefield in a way yes they perform these avoidance maneuvers quite regularly actually and there are procedures for the crew too sometimes they have to shelter in their docked capsules just in case shelter wow oh. in case the station gets hit exactly and in a really extreme case a bad impact could mean they have to come home early so this close call wasn't just routine it was a real reminder of the risk this debris is a danger to the station to the astronauts and you know, it's not just the ISS. Think about all the satellites we rely on for GPS, weather, communications. They're all up there in the same crowded space. This really underscores a problem we, well, we created. And now we urgently need to figure out how to deal with it before something really bad happens. The problem we created. That definitely <laughs> leaves you with something to think about. Thanks for breaking that down for us. It's uh, quite a situation unfolding above our heads. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.